My name is Morgan Rogers, first year international business student at Leeds Beckett University. For this assignment, I'll talk about consumer me and what I love to buy and use in almost everyday life. A key company I will use within this assignment is Coca-Cola, as I respect them as a company and use their products often. They are one of the most recognisable brands across the world and sell their products in over 200 countries worldwide. One of the main ways that Coca-Cola markets their products is by using celebrity endorsements. They use many top name celebrities such as Wayne Rooney, Kobe Bryant and Taylor Swift. This bodes well of the demographics as Coca-Cola try to sell to as many of the younger generations as possible. This is because the younger generations will know the celebrities and know a lot about them, whereas some of the older generations wouldn't. This links to my buying habits, as if I saw a celebrity that I liked and I followed endorsing Coca-Cola, I would feel more inclined to buy that product it, as it would seem more appealing and closer to me. In accordance to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, my decision to buy Coca-Cola on a regular basis would, would be to please my psychological needs to simply eat and drink. However, there are much, much cheaper options than Coca-Cola available. It could therefore be said that my decision to buy Coca-Cola on a regular basis could be more based around the self-fulfillment or the accomplishment level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This is because Coca-Cola is not a necessity to have such as water, but I still buy it, and it could therefore be used to achieve a sense of fulfillment or luxury when going into a shop and buying a can or a bottle instead of going home and just drinking tap water. With the different buying situations that customers face, me buying a can of Coca-Cola would be a very short decision process. This is because many times I'll buy Coca-Cola and it will just be an impulse buy where I've seen it in a shop or a convenience store and just thought, go on then, and not, f not think much else about it. This would differ a lot because if I was going to buy a car or a house, it would be much more extended problem solving as it involves a much more long-term commitment and risk in the buying process. Many customers are often affected on what to buy due to external influences. Me and myself, when I go to shop with my friends, they will influence me on impulse buys as they will influence me to just buy it and not think much about the cost or the effect of me buying this product. This is different to as if I was going to go shopping with my parents, they would influence me much more on to think more about whether I need this product and if I should go for something cheaper than what Coca-Cola is. Depending on who the external influences are and what influence I have on me, they could have a serious impact on me using this product in the future. For example, if I went to a shop and we were going to buy a can of Coke, but a friend influenced me to try a can of Tango, it could therefore impact me wanting to buy Coca-Cola in the future and instead trying new products. The reference group's going to have a big impact on me wanting to drink Coca-Cola. This is because if I was to go to the gym, the people there would influence me to stop drinking as much. This is because Coca-Cola has a high level of sugar, whereas something healthier for me would benefit me more within the gym. There is also a serious amount of classical conditioning used by Coca-Cola, especially at Christmas time. This is because people often become filled with anticipation and excitement at Christmas time, and Coca-Cola want to relate this to their brand and their product. Coca-Cola released a new advertisement on television with what seems to be an infamous Christmas truck, seemingly arriving at this magical time of year and supplying everyone with their needs for Coca-Cola. Since Coca-Cola first ran this advertisement, it has since become very popular with the public and therefore allowed them to really take advantage of the market at Christmas time. Coca-Cola tends to use the sound of jingle bells in its advertisements as well. This is because when customers hear the sound of jingle bells, they often get the feeling of excitement for Christmas. And as Coca-Cola have their brand name on this advertisement, they get a share of the excitement from the customers towards their brand product as well. Lastly, one of the most important marketing techniques that companies need to use is the psychology of colour. This is because the colour and brand image is the first thing that will catch the customer's eye when viewing a marketing advertisement. Linking on from classical conditioning, Coca-Cola uses the psychology of colour very well at Christmas time to sell their products. This is because they use Santa as a key marketing platform. Santa is well known for having a giant red outfit, and Coca-Cola are well known for having a consistently red colour based product. Therefore, it would make sense for them to use Coca-Cola as a marketing platform to sell their products, and it also allows them to make their customers create similarities between Christmas and Coca-Cola, and would help them boost their sales at Christmas time. There's often always offers for Coca-Cola drinks in supermarkets and other places where it is sold. This will entice me to be more likely to buy the products as it will save me a lot of money. I personally enjoy buying Coca-Cola. It is a brand that I can trust and use wherever I am in the world, and I will always know that it will taste the same no matter what and that it would never be that expensive to buy. It is a drink that I could have in almost any occasion at any time of day, so therefore it is always a go-to drink. I believe Coca-Cola is one of the most recognisable brands across the world, and if an advertisement came on television, I would know it would send straight away through the colour or the sound from the advertisement that they tend to always use. Most of what I've described in this vlog, I would say that I have a very strong connection with Coca-Cola as a brand, and that I can trust any of the products that they bring out or sell to me.